Hello everybody and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 1. We are... We just finished the aquatic show park and now we are beginning the Dinosaur Digs Carnivore Zoo, which uh, you've been hired to run a new zoo in the inner city whose focus is exhibiting some of the most deadly carnivores ever to walk the earth, past and present. Construction has already begun on the basic construction... the basic structures for... The initial animal exhibits, now it's up to you to finish the job. Keep in mind, the large dinosaurs can be picky and quick to anger. You are better off trying to make their exhibit as suitable as possible before placing them, otherwise they will get angry and start to destroy things. Okay, which we, we already know from doing the Jurassic Zoo. But we've got we had a mixture. This is a mixed park. No real length of time it's going to take. So we got to focus basically on making sure that we can get those awards quickly. If you guys have been liking Zoo Tycoon like button and subscribe. So, first one is 85s. Now, $60,000, that's great to see. That's a good amount of money. Um, let's pause this and see what we have to work with. So we have a ton of animals. Do we have any real, wow, that's a great, <laughs> this looks like a place I'd set up. Um, do we have any real, we have no money, no real money makers. Okay, so we need, to get something that will make money immediately. So let's throw down a compost building. Now it looks like all of our exhibits have already been basically designed. Is there only six? Is that it? Okay. Let's get the people's stuff set up first. Um, we have one here, we should probably put one over there too. For the people, but I don't like how they have this set up. Is this gonna blow up and make a bunch of garbage now? Okay, let's just let's just move this up one. Actually, I don't think we can, given where they put the stuff. So let's uh, undo that. So I guess we will just put it here. And bathroom. And we will do a. Where's the gift shop? Um, where's the, there it is, gift stand. Okay, now I'm gonna extend this to here just to basically make it so that it's, I mean, I'm more used to seeing it. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do some garbage cans. We'll do like one there, one there, one there on there. Now we're going to need a zookeeper. I'm going to wait to get the zookeeper. Now the suitability. Spotted hyena, spotted hyena, spotted hyena, spotted hyena, black leopard. So this is probably for the black leopard. This for the spotted hyena. I'm not too worried about angering the, uh, let's just turn this to zero so that way we can get as many guests in here as possible. I'm not really too worried about angering the spotted hyena or the black leopard. Um, but let's get the path set up, and there's really no reason for me not to do this with this, the, uh, game paused, simply because there isn't really a time that I need to spend on this, so I'm a little confused about the pathways that lead to them, but that's fine. Um, Let's finish the Spotted Hyena one first. Once we get the Spotted Hyena one, I will be turning back on the time so we can actually get uh, customers to show up. And there, that exhibit is done. We'll put that here. We'll actually, yeah, we'll put it there. We'll put it there and then we'll put a path connecting it. Let's sell this tree because I don't really like the location of it. Spotted hyena, spotted hyena, spinosaurus, velociraptors, oof. That's going to be a tough one. Spotted hyena. Okay. Let's start it up. Okay, so not enough sandstone, or sandstone, savanna grass, and sand and dirt. Is there any way to put more animals down there? Is not. Okay, so... This is just what we've got to work with. Okay. Understandable. Um, too much savanna, sand, like that. Not enough dirt, too much grass. 
So let's put that there. Let's put down some dirt over here. And how's that? Too much savanna, not enough sand, not enough dirt. Not enough dirt, still way too much savanna. They want rocks, are they good with trees? Do I, did I put down a, I did not, that was really dumb. Put that there, put that there, okay. Now I imagine it's gonna want more trees, so I'm gonna put them down. And I know they're gonna say it's good, it's great value because uh, I did that on purpose. I want as many people in here as possible. Increase my likelihood of getting money. And we'll put down... Do they like burrows? They do not. Do they like lean-tos? They do not. So we'll just do the concrete shelter. How about where they actually... How about, how about we actually put it in the right spot? Okay. Now it's perfect. It's all set up the way they want it. And suitability... 84. So we're going to have to work on the suitability there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Because we need it to be an 85. Now the black leopard I am concerned with. Because I'm pretty sure we need enrichment improved. Yes. So let's get the 66 on that. We'll get them into their exhibit area though. I need as many animals as possible so that I can start the work on getting that $15,000 set up. I don't know why my mouse seems to be clicking twice. I have never really used wood, so I'm not really a big fan of it, but. Now, I'm gonna cheat the system a little bit here. I don't usually like to cheat the system, but we'll probably just pause the game. I'll put the animals in, we'll pause it. I'll see what they want for the dinosaurs and then fix it up that way. That's just an easier way to avoid, you know, having to do too much thinking and trial and error. Do they not want grass? Too much grass. They want dirt. Okay. Some dirt there. Not enough shelter. Would like a mate. Can't get them one, unfortunately. Um, put some rocks down here, though, for you. And more foliage, foxtail palm tree. And again, this is another one of those maps where we're not entirely sure how long it's going to take. Um, because there is no real limit to the time. Oh, the spotted hyenas just gave birth. That's great. Got something above a 90. That's great. Probably this guy. Yep. I tend to find the rainforest animals take the most in terms of foliage. Because, I mean, it's a rainforest. So, well, there's 15 grand. That's going to help out tremendously. Okay, now... Shelter and then a toy. Now, we can't get it a toy yet. But what I can do is I can put the exhibit in a nice... I'm trying to think of what the word would be here for. Uh... What is that word? Shadowed? Is that even a word? <laughs> there. Put the rock over there with ya. Okay. There we go. Got some money. Got the people coming into the zoo. Great value, of course. Uh, which is free. They're always prepared to tell you that they love the free. <laughs> that, is, that is never not the case. Now, I think... Yeah, so they have one two, three, and then this, which I have to imagine is for like a panda. Um, so Spinosaurus likes Norfolk Island pine trees. That's that. This is Dawn Redwoods. Let's do the Velociraptor first. Dawn Redwood. And these are fern bushes, which I have to imagine is probably for the Allosaurus. Now... I am going to believe that they did not set me up for failure and put in things that will, you know, keep the Velociraptor at bay. 
Um, and again, I'm going to do this as such. We're going to go dinosaur digs, and the stuff they used here is this stuff. Now, I'm going to use this and have faith that they did not set me up for failure. And the moment they open up, pause it. Put this here. Put a scientist in there with them. And let's see what they want. So too much grass, not enough coniferous forests. Two is not big enough for the amount of animals. That's uh, so good, they set me up for failure. I love it. How about this? Which is funny, because they're not supposed to. So, it might just be that they said that was good enough, but I don't appreciate that. Um, not enough coniferous. The good news is that won't set me back regardless, because, uh... Again, there is no technically getting sent back in this level. There is no amount of time that I have to spend on it. Let's start it up and pause it again. Still not enough coniferous. What that? Still not enough coniferous. Do they just not want any grass? Nope, that's good enough. Now, do we have Dawn Redwoods? We do not. Excellent. So I need to get to work on dinosaur foliage. Okay. And how many people are here? 50. That's garbage. Increase monthly funding for getting people in here. Start it up. Pause it again. Um, so they're a smaller dinosaur. So dinosaur burrows would usually be what I'd think, but... No, they want them. Okay. Nice. Pause it again. I don't want these guys getting angry. We're going to see what foliage they'll be fine with for now. Will they be fine with Walshian Kniffer Tree? They would be. Excellent. So let's pause. And we'll just throw like a couple more there. And then we'll start it up. Now I don't know if a Velociraptor would break a tree. I don't really know what's like the acceptable amount of weight that a tree can take in this game. So no more rocks. Well actually, for some reason, even though that's a coniferous rock, they're like 50-50 on whether they accept it being in there. So would they accept this? No. Okay. So a 93 suitability. That's great. Now let's get some things for people to be able to look at them. Lion, I wish I could set it to what I wanted to, but it won't let me. And let's go check out these guys. These suitability is going to be a pain in the butt. So why is the suitability so low? Does it want, does it want more savanna grass? It does not. Does it want more dirt? It does not care. Didn't change either way, really. Does it want more sand? It does want more sand, but not too much more sand. Okay, does it want more trees in some way? It does not. It would take another one, though. It would, but it would not make it happy. It would not accept another tree being cut down. Would it accept this rock? It would not. Would it be more happy if I gave it a different rock, perhaps the, that, that's a deciduous horse, perhaps the mild savanna rock. That did make it go up, but only slightly. Would it prefer the termite rock? <laughs> it would not, even slightly. That's great. Um, how about a bunch of smaller rocks? Only two smaller rocks. I don't understand what this needs. How about this? No, it doesn't want tall grass either. Is it the is it the the house, maybe? Is it could I give them a better house? What about a lean to? No. It obviously doesn't want a stable. What about a wood shelter? 
Oh, I saw it go up to 85. Nice. Okay. So the wood shelter, certain animals prefer wood shelters over other shelters. That's interesting to know. So we got some people coming in. Uh, the Spinosaurus are going to be here, and these ones are the ones I am terrified of. This is the beginning of the ones that I do not have experience. I haven't done a Velociraptor, to be fair, either, but... Um, let's see here. This is the same stuff. Okay. And again, we're going to do this in a very specific way to avoid... Let's put it there. No, we wouldn't put it there. Okay, and we're going to pause. Because those things are huge. Now, these are carnivores. Um... Yeah, these are the ones that will eat everything if you're not careful. <laughs> they will also destroy everything. They will also ramsack everything. They are monsters. So, as such, we will treat them as monsters and freeze time as we're doing stuff for them. <laughs> How about that? Okay, they got enough dirt. Now they want coniferous forest ground. Is that good? Too much coniferous. Okay, we'll get rid of some of it. Put it like that. Too much grass. How about this? And that is fine. It needs shelter and it needs more trees. I have to imagine for something the size of this, it'd want a dinosaur cave. So we'll unpause it, put the dinosaur cave down. It can't break the dinosaur cave. <laughs> Thankfully. Too much coniferous. Um, would it be a fan of more water? It would be. It wants more trees. Let's go to dinosaur digs. These trees work. They will work. Okay, more animals have been donated. We did get 30,000 more dollars. Um... But I do want to make their happiness a little bit higher before I just leave them to their own devices because they are very, very dangerous dinosaurs. <laughs> so there, 91. That's fine. Okay. As you can see, you might want to get a dinosaur rescue team in there. I don't know why he's going in there. This right here is somebody who doesn't enjoy, you know, <laughs> not having their faces ripped off. Polar Bear, White Bengal Tiger, Black Leopard 2. Okay, so we have another Black Leopard. Nice. Still want to have fun, but that's... Okay, sweet, so they gave us the other Black Leopard. Now, the White Bengal Tiger, we have quite a bit of knowledge on them. That's probably another dinosaur, Allosaurus, as I said. And then Polar Bear, we know where the Polar Bear belongs. They belong right there. So we'll put the polar bear down here, get their exhibit set up. Um, I feel like this isn't really enough space for a polar bear, but I think once I... Oh, <laughs> $10,000 for the black leopard giving birth. Nice. And again, that helps. Um, big time. Obviously, because, uh, is this the side we want it on? Yes, it is. Now, calm down, mouse. Now, we want this set up like this. And then, it's snow. It's not going to want the grass. But it's going to want way more salt water. So, we can go like this. Okay, that's a good start. More snow, less salt water. That's abnormal for me. Nope, too much snow. Okay, not enough shelters. Now usually, let's put one more down here and put one scientist over here. Now no marine animal need. Get a tour guide to make people happier once we start getting more people in the park. 118, so that'll start going up steadily. Now, what do we have? These guys usually want snowy caves. So we might 
have to wait to make them. Why is the Spinosaurus unhappy? See what I said? Every time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm wondering if maybe I should just put them back inside their box. That would be interesting. Do you think that's a route? You just sell the animals from the original group? Why are they unhappy? Because oh, I broke one of their foliages. What a surprise. And now they're happy. After they broke their... Oh, this one isn't. I don't know why this one specifically isn't happy. I think he's just being, you know, a problem. <laughs> Once we get their trees, we'll put more of their trees in. Like, that's kind of the problem. These guys are fine. These guys are literally perfectly happy. Nothing to worry about about them breaking anything or anything like that. In fact, I'm going to put it like this. Get a little circle going in there. It's like a bathroom in the middle of this. Who wouldn't want to, to poop right in the middle of two dinosaur exhibits? <laughs> I don't know why the guests aren't happy. I think that's just that there aren't enough of them in the park yet. Um, now the Allosaurus, that's such a worthless thing. I wish I could say which one I wanted to research. Okay, we got a ton of things over here. We can put the White Bengal exhibit here and then put the people's stuff over here. So let's get a restaurant set up. I think we have enough room if we put a restaurant. We'll put the restaurant here, that way we guarantee ourselves enough space. And where's the, there it is, the carousel. Now, how much space would be over here? Oh, we can put it right here. This is perfectly enough space. Save us some money too on fence. Right there. Put it there so it's easier for the zookeeper. And there shouldn't be, what did that just finish? Oh, it definitely wasn't that. Animal enrichment. Okay, so we can put down a toy for them now. And boom, there. Black leopard exhibit done. Um, how are the Spinosauruses doing? Still throwing a baby fit? Well, the one's happier now. That's better. See what happens when you give it a, you know, a chance? Huh? You know, just break everything you see in five seconds? Okay, white Bengal tiger. White Bengal tiger. Now, hopefully that's enough space for two of them. Rainforest. Uh, right here. Now, I know they said to make them happier before you put them in there, but it's that whole thing of these aren't the carnivorous, you know, monsters that they're talking about. They're talking about the dinosaurs. <laughs> if you've ever seen a Bengal tiger rips up, rip up the ground or something, let me know. Because, yeah. Okay, too much. Uh, give you some space, just in case. Now, wants some more rainforest, have to imagine. Of course, you'd have to make it look weird. And mangrove trees. Now, these guys usually will want a lot of mangroves, so we're just gonna kinda Go like this over here, and that's fine. And we'll throw some rocks down, and they're all set. Put like a rock there. No, just one rock. And boom. Done. White Bengal Tiger finished. Okay, so how many exhibits do we have? That's the real question. So we have to be approaching... Yeah, we have 19 animals in here, and only two of them are... Uh... You know, in a in a box. So, and right here is where they're supposed to go, and I don't even want to start their exhibit if I have to be completely honest. Spotted hyenas gave birth again. Okay, this is where we're going to have to call it a little bit back. Just call it a little bit back there. There we go. Um, now, these are this one. So... Go from here over to here, and from here to there. And we'll put this here, and we'll do a dirt path like this. 
that. Okay. Now, these guys, as you know, dinosaurs and me don't go hand in hand. So, I love how you can't even put the cages too close to each other. So, put them in. Pause the game. Okay, they're massive. Not big enough to hold two of them. Not surprised. Um, we can actually save some money here. If it actually helps the size of the exhibit by... Wow, that really adds a lot of space. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. But this lets us sell all of this space right here. Now, is that big enough? No, of course it's not. But I have to imagine if we moved it down to here, thus being able to sell off more of the original area... Now it's probably big enough. Not big enough. Are you serious? Well, you know what? If it's not big enough and it's causing a problem, then I'll do something about it. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. No need to get crazy yet. Okay. Let's get some rocks in here. We're going to use the rocks to keep them away from their foliage. I'm pretty sure they're a huge fan of those ferns, but we're going to put the ferns in an area where I don't have to worry about them destroying them every five seconds. So let's get the ferns down, because foliage tends to be the thing that they care about the most. Um, let's do like... Okay, how about that? Is that good for them? They want more. They're starting to make their way over here. If I could block them in. Nope. But I can at least bar their access completely to the ferns. We'll do that and then we'll probably have to build like a little thing to... Okay. They're starting to get angry about how many ferns there are. So, let's go like that. And again, like before, we'll use this to bar it off. See? Still effective. Still happy about the amount of ferns. Not happy about the amount of rainforest, but... We'll get there. We're gonna run around like crazy. Break a bunch of stuff. At least try to. Got the 10,000 for emergency. Now we need fresh water. There's still too much grass. Is that good? A little more. 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 A little more? Question mark? They're not amphibious. <laughs> They're trying their best to break that stuff, but they can't. Uh -huh. It's not big enough, too much fresh water. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it was their idea. There. There we go. Let me look at that. A hundred suitability. They'll be happy. I think that one just smashed its face into the electrical wires. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> now, what needs to be done? So we don't have an 85 for all animals. So what... It's failing. It's probably the polar bears. It's, it's the polar bears. Okay, so in that case, let's turn off the dinosaur foliage. That way we can start saving our money. We need to turn on the animal shelters. Yes. Okay. Now, an 83 zoo rating, 94 animal happiness, 87 guest happiness. I don't understand why the guests are so unhappy. Um, how many are there? 224. With zero zoo benefactors. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's turn that off. The zoo is plenty big enough now to attract its own, you know, audience, I guess you'd say. Do two maintenance workers... Um, the zookeepers, there's two of them already, there's two dinosaurs, we have three dinosaurs, sets of dinosaurs, three exhibits. 
might want to add another zookeeper just because of how much poop I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, so this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Animal happiness is great. Guest happiness is stupid. Um... The Allosauruses haven't broke everything in their exhibit yet, which is always great to see. I'm sure they'll find a way to break something, just give them a moment. If that's what you're here for, of course. Uh, have the bathroom where everybody can go poop right between the two dinosaurs that probably want to, that probably see them as walking, you know, hot dogs. <laughs> oh, I haven't put down a bathroom over here, that's probably why everybody's upset. Let's get down a bathroom. That was sarcasm, just in case you, uh didn't understand that put a garbage can here and a garbage can here now you know something i have noticed people do enjoy paying extra for things so yes that was also a aimed statement so we'll, uh 425 250 and 650 there there we go i see your guest happiness is already starting to go up who would have known? All they really needed was just, you know, added motivation. The zoo rating literally went up one. Like, you can't make this up. Again, I can't get the stuff done any faster, so we need... Oh, the poop's really coming in. 160... Or, 1600 bucks, I mean. Restaurants just doing what it always does. Nothing to see here. Um, now the good news is that that's already two sets of the animals. The bad news is that the third set is going to have T-Rexes. So, is there a dinosaur? T-Rex care. So once this gets done, uh, these shelters, we need to work on T-Rex care. Because uh, the T-Rexes are very annoying. And they're going to want things, are they like trapping themselves? Just at the door. It kind of looks like they're waiting for the scientist to walk in. I don't appreciate that. Um, let's do some water over here, I guess. We'll like go like this. And then we'll do this. And then we'll throw a couple of things of grass. There. That way the scientist actually has a chance to walk in. <laughs> there. Before a giant dinosaur is there. Zookeepers are doing great. I know what's holding us back. It's these things. They are very picky. Do they want graystone? No. They do not want any graystone. How about, how about some snow? You want snow? Nope. They don't want snow. I'm pretty sure they literally just want their... Nope. They just want their actual shelter that they prefer. And we're getting close to the 95 for guest happiness. Which I don't know why that's so low. It's got to be because people are electrocuting themselves. <laughs> Which I wish wasn't the case, but it is. You know how this game works. Um, the good news is once we get that next batch of animals, we'll be able to get like 20, 30 grand more money. Probably be able to do two out of the three exhibits and then have to wait for the 25,000 to finish the final exhibit. Now, if there's any normal animals, probably... Probably I can't put them there because if they put in any more... Oh no, this was the final set. So probably do a dinosaur here. If there's another dinosaur, dinosaur here. And then we'll do a normal animal here. And that'll be it. And this zoo is already over. The 99 animal happiness, by the way. I saw that for a split second. 278 guests... Probably should increase the price to come in because we've got a good amount of people actually in here. No zoo benefactors though. That seems stupid. <sighs> like I know I need those constant donations and I don't know why they're not here. In fact, you'd almost say this zoo was supposedly designed specifically by the people who made Zoo, uh, zoo Tycoon. The way it was set up and, like, all the locations. I don't know why he's walking in here. That is not a smart move. <laughs> but this was, like, how they wanted the zoo set up. So, awfully weird how... That is so stupid how long that takes. I want to be able to get my polar bears done so I can move on to the next group. 
It's the last group. Probably one of the last, uh... So there's 17 levels left after this. But there's... Only five question mark levels? No. Six question mark levels left after this. Okay. The question mark one being, of course, how long it's going to take to beat it. It's a question. Let's increase the prices of this a little bit more. We're making a good amount of money. I just need to be making a little bit more. I don't know how many animals I'm going to be getting in this next batch. And luckily, we are making a lot of money. Oh, polar, the polar bears gave birth, even though they're not happy. I'll let you know that. They're not 95 or 85 suitability, but they gave birth. Which is just wonderful. Let's sell that one. You can keep the other one. Okay. What's the hunger, Velociraptor? There's food right there. <laughs> You're doing this to yourself. I can't force you to eat. The food's right there. Is this thing almost done yet? There is technically a... I'm trying to think of how to word this. There is a technical time limit. Because I'm pretty sure if you lose the batch of animals that first came in, that's it. You lose. So there is a technical time limit. It's just... You th think you'd be able to finish it in the times? Well, I mean, unless, you know, this is going to continue doing what it's doing, then maybe you won't. <sighs> okay, seven days. Fine. After all, I needed that large shelter way more than I needed a snow shelter. Okay, the Velociraptor's eating, which ups its happiness. I'm so glad that it's like, you know, food's right in front of its face, and it's just like, I'd rather just stare at the wall. Spinosauruses have calmed down. That's always amazing to see. Tons of hyenas, tons of poop. This is basically just the poop farm. Um, Allosauruses are literally just pooping on each other. That's just normal. <laughs> normal dinosaur behavior. Um, carousel working great. This is coming, tons of money coming in there. Um, I mean, the good news is, is that this was a month where we basically had zero things, like, being purchased. And, Jay probably could save some money. Let's see, is everybody actually doing something? Maintenance workers aren't doing anything. Scientists are doing things. That's something. The maintenance workers really aren't doing anything, so I can probably fire one of the maintenance workers. Yeah. There we go. Snowy Rock Cave. Thank you. Finally. Hey, we're going to actually turn a profit this month. That's surprising. This was because of donations and stuff. How are the donations doing? Terrible. Because we don't have any zoo benefactors. I don't know why. Is it because it's all carnivores? Is that what it is? Or insulting people somehow? <laughs> Only carnivores. No herbivores, huh? Although we did have a cat zoo. And I don't think any of those eat vegetables. <laughs> well, it's great to see that the guests are happy with the park. It's at 90. Okay. That's great. So we're five away from getting a, a zoo that has actual money coming in. The 25000 being more specific. It's about to turn to another month. Bring them over there. 5000 for quality animal. Did I just pick that one up and put it down? And it was like, good enough. 5000 So we start down, yeah, we start down like six grand, which isn't great, but once we're done with the research costs, that'll save us $2,000 a uh, session, so that's huge. Once we get this up to 25, we'll have, or 90, yeah, 25, 25 guest happiness, just let out all your dinosaurs. Um... We need this at 95. That gets us 25,000. I'm pretty sure there's another like 10 or 15,000 dollar one, but I don't remember how to get that one. 
Just waiting for the snow. Come on, seven days. Holy cow. Half this video is going to be me sitting here waiting to give the polar bear something that will make them one overall happier so that I can actually get this next batch of animals, which might literally just be the T-Rex. I don't think you understand. Did that polar bear just teleport? <laughs> I don't think you understand that there's... Oh, well, actually, wait a minute. The exploit for this map could 100% just be to sell the animals once you get them to the 85. <laughs> but I don't think that'd be the smartest move. That'd be the kind of move you'd do if you wanted to speedrun it, basically. Just if it would even let you. Come on. There is only one more dinosaur mentioned. Now, they didn't mention the Velociraptors, though. So, but they don't... Or they aren't known for breaking things. Like this stupid monstrosity. Uh, come on. Is it almost done? Two days, yes. Finally. Poop near the guess. Just what they want. Well, I mean, they must up to a 92 now. Now, the T-Rex exhibit. <laughs> the right move would be to stick it here. <laughs> as far away from the people as possible. Um... That way, it can't get angry, it can't, you know, throw a temper tantrum or something. The Velociraptors gave birth, of course. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. There. 85? 84. Nice, nice. So I have no idea why these people aren't happy. They're not people, but you get my point. Does it want ice? Is that what it wants? It probably wants ice. Um... I can't even think. I hate dealing with these. I love the snow animals in this game, don't get me wrong. Like, on a enjoyment level, I think that the snow animals are really cool. It's just, they are the biggest pains to deal with. 85. Okay, can I get my final batch? 85. That's a fi It's an 85. What, 86 even? Was it not the polar bears? Can you not, like, just tell me the one animal? Oh, you're just telling me because they're hungry. They're at 100. 99. 86. 90. 84, because they're stupid. <laughs> 93. 99. It's the stupid spotted hyenas. <sighs> but they're not even from the first batch. They're from the second batch. Or no, flip that. Okay, I guess they wanted more water. Delivery of two Tyrannosaurus Rex specimens is due at any moment. Create a suitable exhibit. They gave me $20,000. I really don't feel like that's enough, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm terrified. Um, hmm. Hmm. So here's my reasoning, okay? Hear me out. We put it next to the Tyran or to the Allosauruses, right? Reasoning. If they break out, we send the Allosauruses to clean them. Like, basically, we hope that the Allosauruses and them get into a giant fight, and then they, you know, kind of take each other out. Huh? I don't know if I wanted the Velociraptors to have... Oh my gosh, there's four of them. Oh, they're seeing the people in the bathroom. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, T-Rexes are unhappy, yes I know. Polar bears don't have any food, yup, because the zookeepers walked away when they were almost empty. <laughs> the Velociraptors had 15 kids because they're getting ready to attack the... I'm just going to sell all of them. I didn't know they were 2000 a piece, thank you for that. That's basically a delivery of money. Now, what do you want? Monkey puzzle tree? I don't think I researched the monkey puzzle tree. $66 here. $66 here. Do we have the monkey puzzle tree in dinosaur digs? We do not. What kind of animal even is this? They're grassland, so they prefer grass. Okay, that's nice. That's great to hear. They're going to want a giant 
you know, want a ton of space for their the foliage. They're going to want rocks, which, oh, I just saw the Allosaurus try to eat the wall. That's great to see. They're going to want rocks. We put the rocks here, put the foliage there, put the dinosaur there. One of the dinosaurs. Is that you? Oh, yeah. Well, I can tell you why you're, uh, you know, you're sick. It's because you just smashed your face into electricity. <laughs> Just not something I'd recommend, huh? Now, for some reason, oh, that's literally got to be because of the of the T-Rexes. They're unhappy because they're inside of the... How much money am I making from the poop? 4,400. Do I have any zoo beneficiaries? Two. Oh, thanks. Whew. Man, couldn't do it without you guys. We're going to lower the price again because the the happiness is dropping. So I'm all ready for the T-Rexes. I just need the monkey puzzle tree, which of course the horse tail has to go first, because we wouldn't want to go out of order. Okay. Got the happiness for scientists. It's going to take 29 days. I am not prepared to put them inside of there until I at least have the monkey puzzle tree and quite a few of them put down. I refuse. <laughs> I don't care how angry they get inside of there. Literally don't care at all. Get as angry as you want. I'm not letting you out. <laughs> nope. There, monkey puzzle tree's coming up. We got ten days to wait. What happened with the Spinosaurus? Why can't you find food? What, what are the scientists doing? Where are you? Going to exhibit five. Here, let me do you a solid. You're in exhibit five. Put the food down. <laughs> like, the food is almost empty. The scientists walk in, and half the time they just kind of look at everybody and go, Well, it's great to see. And then they leave. I've actually had a pretty good run with this zoo. Um, I wonder if I'll be able to beat it in one playthrough. It's going to be close. Might stink, because I might end up having to do like a 10 minute playthrough, but we do have potentially important stuff happening tonight, so I don't know if I'll even be able to record it tonight. <sighs> Come on. T-Rexes, man. Completely volatile. So there's a cheat code in this game for infinite money, which is shift four, I believe. Yeah, that's the money sign. I have done a zoo in the past, long time ago, where I took the uh, T-Rexes and I put them in an exhibit underground. <laughs> I dug a giant hole using the excavator. This thing right here. And I put, I put this around it, and I put another thing around it, and then I put a, like, path for the people to walk down to, and I put a scientist with it and stuff. And I made it look so cool and nice, and, and it didn't work. Like, I'm terrified. <laughs> T-Rexes are monsters. <laughs> and this could go either way. Okay, no more foliage, so I'm saving money on that. We're going to pause the game. And here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a moment. We'll put them right here. That way everybody can kind of see what's coming so they can make their decisions on if they'd like to run. Here's the monkey puzzle tree. Luckily, they are gigantic. So I can do like, we'll do this many. And then when the T-Rex comes in, if they wanted less, we'll just cut some of them out. If they want more, we'll have to pause the game anyway. So I don't think this is enough space. That car that just drove by also didn't. It also sounded like a monster truck, so. Where are the scientists? Going to exhibit five, going to exhibit three. I don't know why he's heading to exhibit three. He can stand in here and wait for the opening. Boom. Boom. Okay. Giant monsters. Here we go. Not big enough. Not enough deciduous, too much grass terrain, too many animals, which makes the too many animals. There's two. Oh, was there supposed to make more than one exhibit? Ew. That would be interesting, wouldn't it be? It's 
merge these two. Now they're actually at a pretty good suitability right now. Turn it on, turn it off. It's okay, still not big enough, but at least they're not angry about it. <laughs> like it's not red, that's what I'm meaning. Graystone, deciduous, too much grass. Uh, don't ask me why they need graystone, but... Do they want more trees? That's really the thing I'm here for. <laughs> like, more trees? They want more trees. Great, I love it. And you can just see their happiness dropping by the minute. I'm trying to think if there's something that I can delete on this zoo for money. That's like $168, but that just feels so meaningless. <laughs> um, great. I can sell this. That did nothing, but... <laughs> um... Okay, too many, too many trees. That actually upped it to 85. I'm happy about that. So now we just need, does it say fresh water? Fresh water wants rocks. Let's get the rocks done. They haven't moved yet, so. Too many rocks, great, pause it. They're, I think they're biting each other, that's, Normal. <laughs> That's an, I can confirm that is normal uh, T-Rex behavior. Okay. Deciduous. Deciduous. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too much because that's going to really make me angry. Put some water over there. Does that make it up to a 90? It does. Excellent. Okay. Congratulations. You've proven your skills by exhibiting some of the toughest animals. This is the first time I've seen this screen. So that's cool. That is that was that dinosaur digs his last level? Let's go check. Oh, no. Was that just because I did the T Rex and got into a ninety? Let's see. It's not dinosaur digs his last level, so why'd it do that? Oh, it's just the scenario description. I think that's the first time I've read it on the screen versus here. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. Next video, Southeast Asian Zoo. Have a great day. Bye everyone.